Hello everybody and welcome back to this new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a challenge from the Nocon Hack I Am CTF. We are taking a look at the Dora challenge. Uh, it's a miscellaneous challenge and the description is Guess what? Dora is back and you'll have to find her to get the flag. Then we get a command, a netcat and we have a hint that we have to find Dora 800 times. Okay, so let's connect to our to this netcat. Okay, and we get asked something, so let's go back up there. So something with Dora. Find Dora. Okay, we get asked where's Dora? One for upper right, two for upper left, three for lower left, and four for lower right. And then we get a very long base 64 string. Okay, so what I did was I copied this base 64, and I put it into Cyberchef, and I just let Magic run on it. Now Magic is just going to try a lot of stuff and, and Magic found something, it says from base 64 and then a render image raw. So let's look at that. And okay, we can see uh, this is Dora uh, and for this base 64, what we, what would we have entered? Well, if you take a look at this, um, one for upper right, so if Dora was here, we'd have to enter one. If Dora is here, enter two. If Dora is here, enter three. And if Dora is here, enter four. Now, uh, when you enter the correct answer, you're going to get uh, another string. When you enter the wrong one, you're going to get some a no flag for you. Right, so we have to do this correct 800 times in a row. Now what we noticed in these pictures is that uh, Dora is in color, whereas the rest of the characters are always black and white. So uh, we wrote a script that's going to look for uh, pixels with the skin color of Dora. So that's this. And, and going to solve that. But then we came to an issue where sometimes even Dora is in black and white. And we uh, tried a lot of stuff with, um, with trying to find Dora in images and stuff like that, but nothing really worked reliably. So we uh, sticked with this solution that when it doesn't know the answer, it's going to ask the user uh, for the answer. So I'm going to run this, and then um, and then after that we're going to look at the, at the script I wrote. So how do you run it? Python 3 Dora.py. And we're also going to do an EOG. Okay, and as you can see, some pictures are flashing by. And then when Dora is in black and white, it's going to ask Gus for the answer. So here the answer would be two. And it's going to keep running through it. Uh, in this case, uh, Dora's skin color uh, is like outside of the range that we defined um, for skin colors. But if we um, enlarge the range, then sometimes the background can like uh, match with... Uh, go together with like some of these colors and they can actually match uh, so we found this approach to be 100 percent reliable but it sometimes asks the users for ones that it would have maybe been able to solve itself and now we of course get th three of them in a row but uh, this script works about uh, is about it's good enough to get like 80 percent of the pictures correct and then the ones where it's not sure it's just going to ask the user and this um, worked pretty slowly, uh, it took us about 15 minutes to actually get through all 800, so I'm not going to bother uh, with doing that right now. But at the end, if you use this and, and go all the way to 800, the last picture is going to show you the flag, and I can show that, so that would be... So the last picture is going to be this, which is the flag. So that was the challenge, I thought it was a pretty interesting one. Um, to cap it off, we're going to take a look at the code. So uh, in our main, we're going to make a connection. Uh, we're going to receive our base64. We're going to decode that and save it. Uh, then we're going to try to find the skin colors, uh, the quadrant, the quadrant in which um, Dora resides via the skin colors. So that's what this function does. It's, we set our ranges. Um, we uh, open the image. We're going to uh, go through the image, um, eat pixel by pixel. When we find a pixel that's within these ranges and that's not equal to the background, uh, we then take that pixel and take a look at its position by comparing it to uh, the middle of the picture. And that's how we return the quadrant. If uh, the no pixels were found or something odd happened, the script is just going to return minus one. And, and in our main function, uh, we have it so that when it returns minus one, we are going to ask the user for input. Because the script could have probably solved more pictures itself, 
but it wouldn't have been 100% reliable. And uh, if at the 600 picture, it, it makes a mistake, you have to start all over again. So that's why we decided for this, this approach that's 100% reliable, but uh, asks, asks the user for a little bit more pictures. Uh, so back to this here. So if the result was minus one, we are um, going to ask the user for the input. Uh, note this trip here and the fact that we sent the answer as a sent line. When you do an input, it uh, there's a new line at the end of your input of the result string. And if you then do a sent line, you're going to have two new lines at the end. So you have to strip one off, which is what this does here. Um, but uh, if the result wasn't minus one, we're just going to send uh, the result that our, that our um, function found. So then after you've sent an answer, you're going to get a new line and a new picture. Uh, and, and the process starts all over again, uh, unless that new line isn't actually a new line or that uh, that picture that we got isn't of a long enough length to be base64. Then we're going to uh, assume that either the program is crashed or um, or you've won. Uh, so then we're just going to say, okay, the script is done and we're gonna go into interactive mode. And that is pretty much the script. Uh, I think that this wasn't all too hard. It was kind of a pain in the ass to actually get to 800. Uh, and I am really looking forward to maybe seeing some other solutions of people that were actually able to detect Dora even in uh, black and white pictures. Um, because we had a lot of trouble with doing that. We spent about three or four hours researching that, trying to do that, but we couldn't come up with a reliable uh, approach to that. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I, and I hope you enjoyed this video. But that's it for this time, and I'll see you back in another one.